A word of warning if you are thinking about getting this camera. The center pin on the hot shoe mount has been engineered to be missing. It is gone. I had never seen this before on any camera and I found it last night and I came home and did some searches. Apparently they did it on the T7 as well. And this is going to make the hot shoe mount incompatible with most third party flash accessories. So if you're thinking about getting the SL3, know that th this is what you're going to get with the camera. Something that a lot of people don't know is that you can use flash systems with the center pin on different camera systems if it's in manual flash. So I can use a Canon flash on a Nikon camera or a Sony camera when it's on manual. The SL3 will prevent even that from happening. And it's limited in other ways in terms of the video, no 24 frames per second at full HD, dual pixel autofocus is turned off in 4K that has a crop of 2.64. And I feel like Canon is playing games with their customers. This is just my opinion because I tell my students, buy the best gear that you can afford and then when you are frustrated and have the money, that would be the time to upgrade. And what I see Canon doing, especially in regards to something like this, is they are engineering future frustrations into their camera. So when you know they go out and they buy this Godox knockoff flash for five times less the cost and they try to use it, it's not gonna work. The flagship flash, the 600 EXRT, works fine. But if you were to buy a brand new version two of this, it's almost $600 when it's not on sale. You can literally buy five of these for the price of one of these. Any flash accessory that uses that center pin, whether it's a trigger or a different strobe or anything like that, it's, it's not gonna play nice. Canon wants to keep the customers locked into the ecosystem. I'm not seeing anything in their literature that says this, this is something that, I guess there's, hey, we're just gonna do it. So buyer beware. Uh, I have no problem making a video teaching you how to use your camera. I think a lot of these are given as gifts. However, if a friend came over to my house and they said, hey, Michael, what do you think about the SL3? My advice would be, don't get it. Get the M50. Here it is. It's even a little bit smaller. It has its center pin. It'll play nice with that Godox flash. I can understand what Canon is trying to do to, you know, to preserve their intellectual property, but locking customers out from using... <laughs> hundreds of accessories like this, I think it's pretty messed up. So in any event, if you're okay with that and you don't need a non-Canon flash and you're willing to pay the extra money, if you're you know just doing basic natural light photography, if you're doing vlogging at 30 or 60 frames per second, it's a fine camera, you'll be happy. If you're going to be doing any kind of serious vlogging work where you need 24 frames per second or you need that dual pixel autofocus or you might want to get a strobe unit, or another trigger, this is not the camera for you. In any event, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.